guys, what's up? It's Minecraft David and the Gaming Gabe. So welcome back, everybody, to episode three of the Papa Louie Experience. So let's get started. We're heading on to day five of Papa's Pizzeria, and now we, I believe, are going to start experiencing difficulty ramp up. So in Minecraft and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know that as you progress throughout the game, the game starts to get harder. And that is game design. That is intended game design. Well, Footline Studios did the same thing. As the days go up higher, you get more customers, and the frequency of customers starts to increase. I might be wondering, what does frequency of customers mean? And and anyways, hey, hey, Gabriel, do you think we should show them... How to, well, I already said it, but sh we should show them what it looks like in your, in your, you, in our YouTuber. Uh, maybe, maybe some other time. If we hit 100, if we hit 100 likes on this video, we'll do what David said. So that's your goal for today, guys. If you can hit 100 likes, sorry, okay, let's make that, let's make it easier on you guys. If you guys can hit 25 likes, we'll. Or more. Yeah, if you guys hit 25 likes or more, we'll do David's challenge, which is? Um, we're, it's not a challenge. We're just going to show them what what our videos look like, our, all of our videos we made. Yeah. So that's your challenge, guys. 25 likes on this video. Or we'll more. 25 likes or more on this video, and we'll show you. We'll do uh, a review of all my videos on this channel. It's today. ours. Our videos. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start. Alright, so there we go. With the golden pizza going out again. Uh, 27, 23. <coughs> it's pretty good pizza. Alright, let's check how many people we have. We got Kingsley. So, fun fact about this game. The way to unlock Papa Louie is you have to get a three-star rating on every single customer. So that means that your cus so every single customer has to show up at least fifteen times, and you have to get on every single occasion more than an eighty percent on their on their score on every single customer in order to unlock Papa Lou. Now this feature was scrapped in future games, but until um. I be, uh, until, I believe it was Papa's Wing Korea. Yes, Papa's Wing Korea. Every single, you had to unlock, Papa, you had to, the way you unlock Alpha Louie was by getting a three-star rating on every single customer. Now, this is very tedious and time-consuming, and you had to have really, really, really good random number generation or RNG. The reason you had to have good RNG is that you needed these customers to come in and if you don't have like if you already have a customer that's already more than more than five more than three stars then there's no point in having them return because you already have them you already have them fun finished and so you need new customers you can't have repeat customers and that's the part that becomes time consuming because some days you can become you can have really good luck and some days you can have really bad luck with the customers who come in like you could have customers that are already three star and that would just be like a wasted day and after and in the future games once once you already have like all the upgrades there's just like there's just no point to do that so in the future uh there is a, there is a way to bypass this in the first game but i won't say that until until we hit until we get the until we get the the screen telling us the message and then finish that until day 100 then i'll show you guys the the secret code and then you guys can you guys will see this pizza is really overcooked so that's what enough. secret code there's a secret code that allows you to become um part almost, of our team no it's a secret code that lets you become almost papa he's became almost the owner so he basically just almost beat the game so, yes. And should we make a team in YouTube? So, yeah. 
so that's that's the plan for the future. And so pretty much until Wingaria, I mean, before Wingaria, that oh, that was the way to do it. But in Wingaria, they changed it, and so you didn't have to do it. You just have to hit a certain rank. I mean, it still it still was rather grindy to get up to like rank forty eight. Oh jeez, this pizza is overcooked. Anyways, don't. Why don't you just join our team? Because we're gonna make our own team soon, but it's not ready right now. And and we'll tell you once if 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 we finish our team, we'll tell you in in the videos that are you could sign in in our team. Yep. All right, so we made twelve dollars and thirty cents in tips today. And now rank four. Roy is now a delivery boy. Oh, we got a new customer, Maggie. Now this is the first of many changes because present day Maggie in the modern games is way different. And it's, and, and even in the next game, Papa's talking me. Sorry, uh, Burger. Uh, sorry, the third game is Papa's talking me. She when she is a she, when she is a playable chef, she looks way different than she does right now. So this is the start of seeing characters who appear much different than they do in the future. As you can see, she has kind of like the Taylor Swift hair. I mean, I'm assuming that that's kind of what she looked like back in her, back in her heyday. As you can see, I am not that good on pop culture, but yeah. So anyway, back to the back to what I was saying about the code. So there is a secret code that lets you get to rank. Um, I'm not sure what rank it is, but you basically just have to do one day, and then you you unlock Pop Over. So. You you can look it up online like Papa Papa's Pizzeria secret code and then you'll probably find it online on the wiki or you'll also see videos of that. So So as we can see already we are starting to get some day ramping. I almost said round ramping, but that's a balloon out offense uh term and I don't play BTD anymore. Simply because of the fact that it, it just got boring and Flash is really prone to lag, so, and, like, after a while, it just got boring, and, like, just watching towers go, like, just, it, it just got boring. I mean, of course, the same could be said for Papa Louis, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot more intuitive. It's gonna be a lot better, and it's gonna be a lot more fun. Oh, shoot, no. Mm. Well, anyways, what, once our team are, is finished... We're gonna we're gonna send you how to to be a YouTuber and some questions of the day. And if somebody gets the questions right, then they they could they could write us some. They could they could go to the subscribe. Where do you write so so? People, On the comment section. On the comment section and then you guys can choose what game game you want us to play in this app yeah so as you can see right now uh i've committed the first mistake of the series um i forget that this game is very awkward which basically um you have to drag the tickets it's it's very counterintuitive and yeah, this is not a good thing. It's very, it's very archaic, and we've already got two customers waiting on. It's just very old, and I just, I mean, I, it's just sometimes happens. It happens to, even in my, even in my, in my casual playthroughs. I, it's happened to me like once or twice, like at least two times. It's happened to me, and it's just so, it's very, it's very devastating to see it happen. Like I was on a good run, and I was just. Feeling the flow of the game, but I mean, I messed up, and yeah. Now we've had four customers waiting in line. And so as I said at the beginning of the day, we are starting to get day ramping, which basically means the game, as we progress through the days, it's going to start getting harder. And that is the challenge of the Papa Louie games, because in modern games, it's it's it gets pretty easy. The further you go in the game, the easier it gets, because... You have upgrades, you have 
timers. You have so many things that just facilitate your life. But in this game, there's it's just you and your time management. Like, if you have good time management and you know and you can have a time, sense per time, then, like, you can, you won't have that much tr- trouble. But, I mean, I'm used to the modern games and the modern games have so many things that just make the game a lot easier and it's a bit it's just it, it's 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 a learning curve it's a very it's a it's a, i wouldn't say it's a steep learning curve because it's not like i'm speed running this game yet because in the future i do plan on speed running um the papa louis games every single papa louis game i have speed ran papa scooperia once uh i am currently third place 10 days i held for 10 days i held the world record of Papa Scooperia. So if you go online and go look up speedrun.com and then you go to Papa Scooperia, you will see in third and then and you see rank five, you will see the gaming game is in third place. And that used to be first place before the two Chinese players ahead of me came and just absolutely obliterated the record. My time was a thirty uh thirty three minute and as of as of late, uh, I've been able to bring that down to about a twenty five minute, and uh, it's it's not even that good compared to to the best to the to the world record pace because I still need like I still need so much more time because they actually they've I mean I have a piece of paper that I've written down mo- like the orders of what they order and that does help and but they just they were just on another level like they knew how to do it when to do it and it was it was incredible seeing their their time i mean i feel like it could be possible to get a sub 18 but i'd have to grind out for a really long time so at a 78% it was an okay day for six customer day got only 10 dollars and 44 cents in tips didn't rank up all right so if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and no notifications on and hit the thumbs up in our faces in three two one Ooh. okay right. thanks guys all right thanks for